Building Notable Quote. Poisonous people do not deserve your time. To think otherwise Good. is masochistic. And what I've found, this is by Tim Ferriss. Mm -hmm. When you have weekly meetings, you don't have time to engage in those kinds of conversations. Mm -hmm. um, in the Bible, some of you, 40% of you like it, some of you don't, yeah. it's fine. But there's, a, but there's verses about idleness. Yeah, we'll, it's not we'll put good. a couple on the screen. It's not good. And people that have downtime, yeah. basically, um, in the Bible, you can look at it as observations from wise people mm -hmm. that are universally true. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of like, I mean, whether you believe in the Bible or not, just work with me. Yeah. People who have idleness, yeah. Nathan, you probably see this. People have nothing going on, they're sitting there going, I heard, I heard, did you hear? Yeah. Nathan, yeah. did you hear what's going on? I don't know mm -hmm. if you heard what's going on, but uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know if you heard. And then I walk by and they're like, hi. Hello. If ever, if yeah. you, by the way, if you ever say, <laughs> hi, I know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, you were up to no good. But if you're busy, yeah. there could be like a cobra <laughs> climbing up <laughs> right between your legs, about ready to just bite you in the inner thigh. Yeah, I'm good. And, and you're like, and, it's, and, it's, and you're like a rattlesnake. Yeah, and, you yeah. hear, and someone goes, yeah. do you hear that? Yeah. And you're like, Hear what? Because mm, yeah. you're like just focused. In the zone. And the you zone. could be bit by a cobra and you're like, there seems to be an irritation here. <laughs> no. But you're so busy you don't notice. Yeah, yeah. So and yeah. I, the best story I can tell you about that oh. is, is my wife and I, when we travel a lot, I still plan out my schedule. Yes. So we went to the pool. We went over here. We went yeah. over there. And we're going to, we're in Cancun. Yes. And we're going, we're going to go from here to a uh, tour on a, on a, on a, uh, it's a, it's, uh, some people call them like a, like a beer barge yeah. or a lick. Have you ever seen these? <laughs> no, I haven't. It's like unlimited is it beverages. Like rum, tequila. Well, what it, is it? It's yeah. unlimited beverage, like, like like rum or something. Okay. But it's unlimited, and you're on a a, a a catamaran. Okay. And you're on like a pontoon boat. Okay. Out there in the Caribbean, and they basically you know serve you unlimited Getting beverages. Smashed, yeah. yeah. So I'm on the boat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm trying to walk from where we are to be on the boat on time. Yes. And I'm walking. And I'm going, and I'm focused, and I am not thinking about what's around me because uh -huh. I know where I'm going, which is how I do business. Right. And there is an iguana the size of a dog. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This, not this big, this yeah. big. Yeah. Oh my god. And I'm walking, and then my wife is like, when my wife notices everything. Yes, I'm a noticer. It's so my wife's noticing, that. and I'm just walking, You're and gone. then I step down, and it goes. So I'm like, ah! <laughs> it's like a dinosaur. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. The one from oh. Jurassic Park. Right? It was that crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then we get on the thing, and I'm like, I need a margarita. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we get on there. We're having a good time. We get back. Yeah. So then afterwards, we get in the pool. And again, I get in the pool. Yeah. And I lean back. I lean back to stretch. Yes. And ah, it's another equal no. the size of a dog. <laughs> and my wife's like, how are you not seeing these? They're the size of a dog. Yeah. And the point is, I'm yeah. just very focused on what I'm doing. Yes. Yes. And I'm not saying that you need to be like that all the time. Right. What I am saying is in this example is in business, there's things that have to get done and you don't have time in your life to right. sit around and like you have, to have stay on idleness course. creep in. Yeah. So you need you to have, have to the visuals on, on your counter. We'll put a, we'll put the yeah. screenshot up there. But you My wanna... grandma used to always say, um, and I don't mind, is the devil's workshop. I never forgot that. She just said, don't let your mind be idle. Always put your hands to good work. A hundred percent. Yeah, seriously. What was your grandma's first name? Seriously, Annie. Annie? Yeah, she passed away recently, but she's the wisest woman that So I she know. said again, what was the quote? An idle mind is the devil's workshop. What was Annie's last name? Smith. Annie Smith. Mm -hmm. Annie Smith. Seriously. That right there is the notable yes. quote from above yes. right there. That's yeah, awesome. Seriously. I yeah. agree with that. She always said that. Now here they go. You have the five Fs. We talked about them earlier, but we're coming yes. back to them. Yes. On this principle, just make sure that you're blocking out the time, the weekly meetings to address your faith your family. What's a meeting for fi family? Mm -hmm. Family time. Yeah. What's yeah. a meeting for faith? Maybe it's church or synagogue right. or whatever. What's right. fi financial meeting? What's that? Yeah. Look at your bank statement. Yeah. Monthly. Okay. Now this is this is this is the thing. I'm going to read this notable quote to you. He says, "People are fond of using the it's not what you know, it's who you know' adage as an excuse for inaction, mm -hmm. as if all successful people are born with powerful friends. Nonsense, mm -hmm. Tim Ferriss. So Tim Ferriss is saying." Faith, family, finances, friendships, yeah. you have to schedule time to build those friendships. Yeah, definitely. So now we're moving on to step 13. Okay. Step 13. 13. We have three more here for you, okay? Lucky 13. Determine a start time and end time to every day. Okay. So uh, people, hey, you want to go out for drinks? You want to go for a nightcap? You want to watch a movie? Right. Do you want to? You, you have to look at what's going on in your day. Maybe you go, yeah, I, let's go out. I'll tell you this, more often than not, I'm like, I'm going in. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. I'm going to go eight, home. When you're 16, <laughs> yeah. 15, yeah. 17, from about 16 until you're married, yeah. you're like, let's go out. Yeah. Then all of a sudden when you get married, you're like, let's go in. Let's yeah. go in. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? You're just yeah. one to spin your head. So all I'm saying is we have to make sure that we, we define a start time and end time to our day. So here's a notable quotable from Tim Ferriss. Mm-hmm. He says, a million dollars in the bank isn't the fantasy. The fantasy is the lifestyle of complete freedom, of the complete freedom it supposedly allows. And how this relates to this, I want to make sure you get it, yeah. is that time freedom is what we, what we want. Mm-hmm. And the only way you can have time freedom and truly have freedom is for you to right now declare your start time and end time to your, your – you have to be free of the time constraints of others. You have to decide. Yeah. You don't have to spend your entire Sunday doing X, Y, Z and going to your kid's baseball game and right. sitting just because your dad played baseball. Yeah. You yeah. you don't need to lose your time. You need to say, do I want my kids to play baseball? Right. But you don't need to, like, obligate yourself to always – I see a lot of – Soccer moms, soccer yeah. dads, hockey moms, hockey dads. I see a lot of religious people. I mm-hmm. see a lot of people. One guy I met recently, he's a thriver, who's from a long line of Cub Scouts. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I go, what do you, what do you, so how, you know, how's life going? Yeah. Clay, I don't have time to grow the business. I said, what's going on? He said, well, I'm, my kids are in Cub Scouts. I mm. said, well, do you like Cub Scouts? No. Oh. Do you like Cub Scouts? No. Why are you in Cub Scouts? Well, it's something we've always done. Oh, gotcha. You see? Gotcha. You so, got to really look at, does my kid want to do that? Do I want to do that? Not just because we've always done it. That's start good. time. That's good. End time. That's you got to think about that. Um, another notable quotable here, okay? Mm-hmm. This is from Tim Ferriss. He says, alternating periods of inactivity and rest is necessary to survive, let alone thrive. Capacity, mm. interest, and mental endurance all wax and wane. Plan accordingly. What he's saying, again, is you have to think about Gosh, if you're in a time of your life where you have to write a book, right. you need to determine the start time and end time to your day mm-hmm. so you can wake up fresh and with energy needed to write the book. Gotcha. Or if you're in a time of your life where you're just relaxing. I've had times in my life where I'm going, I've achieved my goal. Right. And for the next six months, I ain't got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> yeah. going to relax. Yeah. I'm going to recover a little bit from Yeah. Because it was intense during this time. Exactly. Right. So there's, you have to just, we need to be intentional. Yeah. Got to flow and have the balance. Be intentional. Now, step number 14, learn how to process the email and communications. We talked before you had to decide what communications you're going to respond to. Right. But you need to learn. It's a, it's a process of how, I mean, the physical. What do you mean? Because most people just think you get an email, you just type and respond back. So what do you mean by how? What's the how to? Okay, so I'm going to read this notable quotable to you again because it relates to this. Mm-hmm. It says, poisonous people do not deserve your time to think otherwise is masochistic. Mm-hmm. Tim Ferriss. Yeah. So what does that mean? Well, for emails, you know why I don't check emails after the, mo- the morning? Why? Well, one, it's because I, I don't want to be reactive. Mm. But also is you could put your poison in my happy day. Oh, that's good. That's so good. So here's the deal. We have a, a, a girl who used to work here. And yeah. you know who you are. I hope you're a subscriber. <laughs> I want you to watch this. I want your friends to know who you are. <laughs> but she used to work here. Yeah. And what she used to do is she would spend her day calling up our customers going... Hi, is this Sharon? Yeah, Sharon. Hi. Um, I work up at Epic Photography. Mm-hmm. You know, we did your wedding. Yeah. And the guys have authorized me to do the wedding photos um, directly. Mm-hmm. Uh, meaning that if you just go directly through me, I'm kind of like your ambassador. Uh-oh. You'll call my cell phone and I can get you discounts. Oh, no. And they say, well, what email? Oh, well, it's such and such at Gmail. Oh. Well, how come I don't email Epic? Well, yeah. they're very busy this time of year with the weddings. Uh-oh. And they wanted me to just email well, the problem is, if you're going to be duplicit, you better not keep your email open. <laughs> right. So anyway, yeah. person keeps the yeah. email open. So I uh, pulled human aside. And I said, yeah. hey, listen, I've seen your emails. Mm-hmm. We've already had a few issues. Yeah. You no longer have a job. Right. I'm going to tell the, the state of Oklahoma. Really? I'm going to, I'm going to, you have no idea. You have oh no idea what gosh. you're. You serious? Yeah. So she went on the elephant in the room and wrote a huge masterpiece yeah. of complaints. Oh, wow. Big old pager mm-hmm. about the company and Google reviews. Yeah. And posed as she was a, gr- a guy, a man, yeah. a man getting his hair cut. Okay. But again, dishonest. Not so smart. <laughs> yeah. Used her Gmail. Yeah. Dishonest. Um, these kind of things. Wow. And so, but then the email that she sent, you can see the subject line coming through all caps. Mm-hmm. And it says, hope you had a great day, you son of a. Uh-uh. And then it's this huge email. Mm-hmm. Guess what? I don't get that till the morning. Yeah. I don't even know about it. Right. Right. right? Um, credit card fraud. Yeah. I get these emails because mm. we have a lot of different businesses. Yeah. Fraud alert. When yeah. I see fraud, I don't know about you, but I go, wee, wee, yeah, wee, right. work, pan, you know, so I don't check them. Yeah. I don't check them until the next morning. Right. I don't give permission to other people yeah. to emotionally 
alter my day. Poison your day. That's right. That's good. That's so really I've learned good. how to do it. That's really good. So I, I have my four steps I want to teach you. Yeah. One is I recommend that you become an inbox at zero hero. I love that. I would say, I would just decide right now, are you a voicemail person? Now I'm going to tell you this. Are you a voicemail person? Most celebrities mm -hmm. and business owners that I know no longer use voicemail. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. They basically tell their friends and family, yeah. I no longer have a voicemail, just text me. Interesting. Because the voicemail, you've got to hit play. Yeah. You have to listen to it. Mm -hmm. You've got, and there's just, you know, it's, it's, you might it's, have to write down what they're saying. So you when you call them, mm -hmm. it doesn't say, you've reached, you know, Sharita yeah. uh, Bent, leave, mm -hmm. leave your name and number after the beep. A lot of them will say nothing. <laughs> and that way you don't know who it is <laughs> if you don't know them. Radio silence. Seriously. Yeah. So, but I'm okay. just saying is whatever you come up with, you have to decide, like, if you're going to, if text is how you're going to communicate. Right. Then you better make sure that, that goes to zero. Okay. If you're going to be is in email, then email needs to be at zero. To zero. But you mm -hmm. need to always be caught up right. on the things you commit to. Yep. And the other things doesn't matter. I love that. Okay. Zero hero. You got to do that. it. Mm -hmm. And the second is you want to add an action item to every to do to your to do list for like so you want to add an action item to your to do list per every item that you receive. Then you trash it. So example, if I get an email from Nathan that says, "Hey, could you call me?" Yeah. So what happens if if Nathan calls me and I miss the call? Just mm -hmm. so you guys know, mm -hmm. it, I use a, co a, pro a software called Umail. Yeah, and it takes my his voicemail mm -hmm. and it transcribes it into text. Yeah, and it throws it into my email. Awesome. So then when he says, "Could you call me?" I put it on my to do list. So on my to do list, it says right here, "Call." Let's see if I have it here. Yeah. So it says, "Call Danny." Mm -hmm. By the way, I got to delete that. I already did. Felt <laughs> so good. Because <laughs> she, she called me back. Boom. Yeah. Sweet. Absolutely. Sweet. But what happens is, is so I put it on the list call this I, it wouldn't do any good though to just hit delete right and then to not actually follow through right you have to put it on the list then you can trash delete it gotcha so take it from wherever you get it put it on your list then delete it cool. the third is you need to assign a person for everything okay what do you mean by that well okay an example um and you don't have to be like a super rich b business owner to do this mm -hmm. but as an example is it says um um help mom get photos yeah i don't have time to get help my mom get the photos because I was working. Right. So I reached out to somebody else yeah. who I hired mm -hmm. to go pick up the photos from my mom to yeah. make my dad's tribute video. Nice. Um, I, uh, uh, my wife, we needed to, oh, I got this one done. It feels so good right now. <laughs> you are moving through your list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, we had a client of ours who I didn't receive payment from. Yes. And I wrote on here, have Vanessa, that's my wife, mm -hmm. follow up to see if he had sent the check. Gotcha. So Vanessa called and she mm -hmm. goes, oh yeah, he did. I put it on your desk. Nice. Great. So the next one is uh, Darlin, he works in our office and I wanted to follow up with him about the status of the Patriot dentistry. Yeah. So it says Darlin dash. So all my okay. items have the person's name doing yeah. it. In the front of the item. Perfect. I love that. So assign a person for everything. And the fourth is you always want to schedule a follow-up time. So these items here where I had called my I said, I said call Vanessa to see if the check was collected. Yes. I called her, but I couldn't delete it because I didn't know if it did show up yet. Right. But then she sent me a text, hey, check received, then I deleted it. Okay. So you want to follow up on everything. That's how you do it. So again, it's become an, inbo uh, an inbox at Zero Hero. Love that. Add every action item to your to-do list before you trash it. Right. Assign a person for everything. Love that. And schedule a follow-up time for everything. Nice. So final, final, number 15. We made it. We're here. Tim, number 15. Tim Tebow. There he is. <laughs> number 15. Someone please sign him. Please. Just go on. <laughs> There's a team in the NFL right now that's 20, or the 28th place last year. Whoever's the yeah. worst team. Pick him up. Just pick him up. Come yeah, on. He's like, up. He can <laughs> single-handedly take you to a miraculous victory. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. So number 15. Don't feel bad that you are happier than everybody else. Oh, why do we feel bad for being happy? What's that about? I don't really. What's that about? I don't really know. Mm. I don't know what it is. I, I, I wish I had the answers, Thrivers. Yeah. But I do know that in society, if you're of the Judeo-Christian faith, mm -hmm. people talk about you need to be humble. Yeah. You need to be. You need to care about others' needs. Mm -hmm. And somehow, like, if you're out there and you're just rocking. Yeah. So I remember when my business was in the toilet, mm -hmm. DJ Connection, Yeah, I was not rocking, but mentally I was rocking. Right. Mm -hmm. I was mentally very happy because I knew where I was going to be. Right. But I know some people who were very successful at the time who felt bad that I wasn't doing well. Mm -hmm. And I had to give them permission to not feel bad. I just said, listen, I am where I am because my sales aren't better yet. Yeah. Don't feel bad. 
because I'm not going to stay here. Right. Yeah. But people were like, yeah. mm-hmm. but now that the businesses have done well, right? I found myself feeling bad yeah. when I would see people who are, who because of their choices, right. are, I'm not talking about people who have physical illnesses, yeah. people with disabilities. I'm talking about people who are not getting up early. Mm-hmm. They're not organizing their day. They're not yeah. pricing their products right. They're not hiring right. good people. Right. They're not making a good product. 